Thanks, brother. Thank you very cool. much. Appreciate it. Thank you very All much, right, man. All All right. Right. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Au revoir. So I've never heard French with a Boston <laughs> accent. Sometimes drunk people are very nice, mm. other times obnoxious. Et tu sais comment les gérer? Yeah, be, my dad was an alcoholic, so I'm used to it. I have no problem. Mais ton ton père était alcoolique, mais quand tu étais petit? Yes. From the day I was born. Always always had a glass of scotch in his hand. I believe the scotch was called Johnny Walker Red. Yeah. My last name is Walker, so it all makes sense. Then he'd go to movies with me and fall asleep. Because, yeah. you know, you drink, you got his sleep all the time. But when you're a kid, you think it's normal. Because that's your father, right? Realize this until I was uh, your age, 30. But I had lots of problems, I didn't know why. And so I went into therapy and found out I was abused as a child. And I uh, started to get help. Uh, it took a long time, mind you. It took uh, many years of therapy, it didn't. But once I figured that out, everything started to make sense of a lot of mistakes I made in the beginning of my life and a lot of fears I have and from the fact that he hurt me as a child was locked in my body. I thought I was crazy. I thought, why was I scared to be in a relationship? Why was I uh, sabotaging many things in my life? Why, why did I feel all this pain inside my body? I just thought I was crazy. I didn't know the reasons and now I finally understood something happened to me as a child and it wasn't my fault I was a little little kid I can't control but uh, now me and my father we, we we talk it's okay it's not the greatest relationship but it's a relationship I've uh, forgiven him but I have boundaries 